Hi, I'm Dave DeVoe. I'm Anton Lepovetsky. Uh, as a team, we were part of the uh, inaugural recipients of funding through the Bill Millard Artist Fund, uh, which we're very grateful for, uh, to support a project we've been working on called This Is It, which was uh, commissioned by Nashville Children's Theatre and is set to premiere, have its world premiere in January in Nashville, Tennessee. The show is a contemporary musical. It's about young people becoming activists, young people mobilizing, young people getting their voices heard uh, in response to, to violence in their schools. Anton and I were able to be in Nashville last October and with some support from this fund, we were able to actually sit down and chat with uh, teenagers in Nashville directly in a variety of different schools and sort of tell them a bit about the show we're trying to create and get a sense of um, what they thought it was and what it could be. It was a beautiful, uh, very meaningful experience, one that I'm really grateful for. It's going to help us write the show in a, in a really great way and, and make the show, I think, hopefully more, more authentic. So we, we will be heading into a workshop, which would have been in Nashville, but will now be over Zoom this summer. And, uh, and then the, the premiere, fingers crossed, in one form or another in January, which I think will be sort of the, the beginning of a really um, big sort of artistic conversation between us and young people and their families and audiences. And hopefully it's something we'll be able to share with you very soon in the near future. The Bill Millard Artist Fund is a new program that's been running at the Arts Club for just over a year. In it, artists, administrators, artisans from across British Columbia can apply to the Arts Club for grants to put towards any professional development dreams that they may have. We are so grateful to be able to have this fund and we only have it because over 1,100 individuals made donations towards it. Those donations were all matched by the Department of Canadian Heritage and now this fund lives permanently in our endowment. We're also so grateful to IA Financial and BMO who have supported all of the digital content at the Arts Club over these last four months.